Hi everyone, welcome back to the Maz channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome if you're new and if you're a repeat viewer then thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do a little boots haul today. It's actually a combination of two boots hauls. I got them both before the lockdown and um, I haven't used all the products yet purely because I got them when they were on offer and um, certain things hadn't run out which now they have so I can open them. Um, but I've got a mixture of skincare products and makeup products as well so if you'd like to see that then please keep watching. So these are the products I'm going to be looking at, reviewing and trying on today. So as you can see there's quite a selection here of micellar water, uh, I've got foundations, lipsticks, highlighters and also a brush away, airbrush away finishing powder as well as some skincare. Okay, so it's going to be quite a long haul today, um, but without further ado, let's start. So the first thing I've got here is uh, the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Rose Water. This smells really nice. I'm going to use this first just to get rid of the makeup that I put on for this video. And then I'm going to put up on some of the new stuff and let you know what I think to it. So this is a um, 400 milliliter bottle. Just going to put a bit on here. What I like about this is it isn't astringent on the skin. Some of them I've had have actually um, stung a little bit and it has got a really nice rosy smell, really natural. Um, it, a little bit goes a long way it seems and um, yeah it really does get the makeup off. The only thing is it does itch my eyes a little bit if I um, use it to remove my eye makeup but, but only lasts a few minutes and apart from that um, it is really good. So yeah, I love these micellar waters. I would definitely repeat purchase this. It's great from the go. It's just really easy and it even gets lipstick off as well. So yeah, I love that. So I thought I would start off with the Boots Glow Skin Care. I've actually got four of these products. So they are £4 each, which is really reasonable, I think. We've got the Glow Radiance Tonic. We've also got the Glow Moisturising Cream the brightening spray mist and then the essence serum as, as well. So I'm a bit unsure what order to use these in but I am going to start with the Radiance Tonic um, because this probably gets rid of some impurities. It says um, our Boots Glow Radiance Tonic clarifies the complexion and smooths the skin to give a skin a healthy looking glow. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on it has a really lovely fragrance this range does it's kind of rosy kind of a sweet smell but it's not too overpowering i really love it and i find it difficult to describe but yeah the consistency of this it really is just like water so i'm just going to put a little bit on here and just wipe it across it smells a bit like sweets <laughs> it's the best way i can describe it but it's a really light delicate smell it's actually removing um, some more of the makeup which the micellar water didn't get off. And it has a really refreshing feel to the skin, this does. Again, there's no stinging, nothing like that. It's really nice and light and I think this just seems to really deeply cleanse the skin because it has removed quite a bit more makeup and oil as well. So yeah, that's my skin after applying that. Now what I think we'll try is the Glow Serum. So this comes with like a pipette on the top and um, the instructions are to just apply like two or three drops to your face. So um, I don't know whether to put it straight onto my face or onto my hands first. I think I'm just going to drop it onto my face to be honest. I just really love the um, the packaging on this. It comes in a proper glass bottle, as far as I can tell, and it just looks really nice. It smells exactly the same as the um, Glow Tonic as well. So you can tell it's a serum, it's slightly more oily, but again, it's quite light. This is a 28 milliliter bottle, so you do get quite a lot. Okay, so I don't know if you can see any kind of difference. So what we're going to try now is the moisturising cream. So 
So again, I'll just show you the consistency of this. So it just looks like that. Again, I don't think this is the most powerful of skincare probably. You know, it doesn't contain hyaluronic acid or melatoninine or whatever the um, fancy ones contain. But it is really reasonably priced and it does feel really nice on the skin. So, I mean, as long as you're keeping your skin hydrated, it can't do it any harm. So again, no stinging with this one. It's a 50 milliliter bottle. It says it soothes and hydrates the skin. So that's that one. And finally now, I'm just gonna go in with the Glow Brightening Mist. So this is just like a, a spritzer. I have lost the top from this actually. Um, but the instructions are to hold it 30 centimeters away from the face and just spray it on. That is very cold. <laughs> that's the kind of thing that would be okay on a hot day in your handbag to just kind of leave in there to cool you down. Yeah, I feel like I've got the morning dew on my face now. It, it does feel really, really refreshed. Um, I just got some in my eye and it didn't sting too badly. So that's another bonus. Um, right, so that's the Boots Glow Skincare. Again, just really nice for presents, I think, because it is so reasonable and so attractively packaged. Um, right, I'm going to move on now to some of the more cosmetic stuff that I got. So I'm going to put that on over the top of this. So the next thing I'm going to show you is this Revlon Rose Glow Primer. Um, so this is in shade 001 Rose Quartz. And it does contain ro uh, quartz silica. Whether this has got some sort of essence of rose quartz in it or if it's just an effect, I don't know. But it says place a few drops into your hands, rub together to melt the oil beads and apply to face for illuminated skin. So yeah, nice attractive product. Comes again with like a pipette. So let's give this a try. So you get about that much in your um, pipette. So I'm just going to put a bit into my hands. It's not the easiest to use this, it's quite difficult to get a decent amount into the um, pipette and then to actually get it to come out. Okay, so clearly that isn't working very well, so that's not a great start. It's got quite a nice smell to it. So that's that. It's really, really light, it's not greasy at all. Um, really nice smell to it and yeah, just a really attractive product. I think it has evened out my skin tone quite a bit. So apart from the applicator, yeah, I think I would recommend that. I got this some time ago actually, and you may have seen this in my Halloween video where I did a Halloween makeover. It's just some um, natural collection foundation. I thought I would throw this in because I've been quite impressed with it. It was literally £1.99. Um, I got the porcelain shade, which is really a bit too light for me. But as it's only like a medium coverage, if I don't put too much on, I can actually get away with wearing this. And, you know, for £1.50, it's not a bad foundation. It doesn't go on the, the smoothest. I actually apply it at first with a brush, but I would recommend applying this with um, a sponge because when it goes on initially, it is quite streaky and difficult to uh, rub in with a brush but as soon as you kind of apply it with your fingers or a sponge you know it does it does rub in quite well so you could probably tell what I mean um, when I just kind of put it around my face with the brush so I'm just kind of doing this to distribute it but yeah can you see can you see the streaks I don't know if you can see them on camera I mean it's not it's not the best coverage and obviously I would prefer the um, number seven, the number seven, stay perfect, or you know something more expensive. But you know, I don't particularly have a lot to spend on foundation at the moment. And um, if you're in the same boat, you could do worse than a tube of this. Uh, you actually get forty milliliters. So yeah, you do have to use your fingers or ideally a, a sponge to kind of rub it in properly. Next, the next thing I've got to show you in my haul is the number 7 Airbrush Away Translucent Finishing Powder. 
Um, I actually got this because I was getting quite a lot of shine whenever I was doing YouTube videos and I didn't want anything too heavy as regards a powder because you know it can be quite aging if it sits in the fine lines so I thought I would just buy one of the modern ones see if they're any lighter than the old-fashioned translucent powders and um, if they do see if they do a better job basically but yeah I'm not gonna be able to show you this today because I need to order a proper powder brush and um, we won't get the full effect if I just stick my fingers in it which I don't really want to do but I just thought I would use you uh, would show you the product it has got really good reviews last time I looked on the um, boots website so yeah that's that one and I'd be interested as well the kind of foundation it's like a cross between a powder and a foundation that comes in a that comes in a compact like this one so yeah if anyone's tried that one it's like a cream to powder foundation so it starts off in a, as a cream and then turns to a powder when you put it on your face so yeah be interested if anyone has tried that to let me know how they got on with it the next thing to show you are these Revlon Colorstay Endless Glow um, highlighters so I got these in like a three for two deal some time ago and this is in color rose quartz again and gold 003 so yeah I was using um by Mark Cosmetics from Avon and um it's it's run out now so I'm going to open one of these. I'm going to try the rose quartz one because I always think that's a bit more kind of summery spring colour. So you get a really nice big brush with this one. So I'm just going to put a little bit on. So you can just see the, um, the glimmer of it. I actually really quite like that because I found with the Mark one that it was difficult not to end up with a line. It was really vivid and it was a really good highlighter but you did have to then, once you'd applied it, put some more um, foundation over to kind of blur the line whereas this one is actually a lot easier to blend and it looks quite natural as well. So yeah. I, I would say that that is a good product. I'm not actually going to open the gold one, um, but you do get the idea. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you are eye makeups. Now, I'm not actually going to use this today, um, but it is the Quartz Crystal X Shadow Palette. It comes in a really nice, almost um, rose quartz coloured box here. And there are 12 different eyeshadows in here. I love the packaging on this. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Um, and it does make a difference doesn't it so let's just get the box open okay look at this this is so beautiful so it's got like a rose quartz effect on the top of the box it, it shines like a pearlescent it's so lovely <laughs> and you open it up and it looks like that inside so you can see all the beautiful um, pinks there obviously everything has got like a a glittery iridescent shade to it um, but without being kind of in your face eye glitter and you get a beautiful mirror as well so yeah I really like that I can't bring myself to use it and test it at the moment um, for nothing so yeah just to give you a look at the colors and the product and then it's got like a mirrored bottom as well so yeah that's that but I am going to do an eye makeup look and just test out this body glitter that I got from uh, NYX or NY. I never know if it's NYX or NYX Cosmetics. This is the Glitter Paillettes, I presume that's French. Um, and this is in like a pinky shade. It's very fine body glitter. Now I understand these days you have to put Vaseline on and mix this with Vaseline to get it to stick. Um, in my young day they all the body glitters had came in their own kind of jelly and they all just stuck on this is the reference for the colors mgli03 i am just going to put on some eyeshadow first 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just apply a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, these are the NYX Cosmic Metals palette. Um, this isn't a new palette at all, but, but I'm just going to use these to get like a pinky eyeshadow effect on my eye. And then I'm going to try applying a little bit of um, body glitter just on my cheekbones, just to kind of see what it looks like. So as you will have seen, I just put you on a time lapse where I put on a little bit of eye makeup um, and that's so I can just try out this uh, glitter. I don't have any Vaseline so I'm just going to hopefully put on a little bit of moisturiser and hope that this actually um, sticks. So I think I'll start by sprinkling a little bit into the lid. There we go, so I've sprinkled a tiny bit into the lid now. This is really trial and error. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, it's definitely gone on as more like a highlighter than anything else. Um, but yeah, it's okay if you want a subtle look, I guess. But you'd have to put absolutely loads on to um, get a real effect. Yeah, so I think I would probably prefer the old style glitters which um, used to come in the in like a jelly and be larger pieces. I think I would prefer those. But having said that, you know, these would be quite subtle to put on um, the top of eye makeup or something like that. So yeah, jury's out on that one. Okay, to finish then, I've just got a couple of lipsticks that I bought. Um, the first one is this one, it's a L'Oreal, and this is in Nectarine Plump. It's the Colorish Shine lipstick. Um, really nice packaging, very modern. So yeah, this is a really bright kind of spring shade really, or summer shade, it's just a, a bright orange. I bought this for no other reason than I like the colour um, and I saw another YouTuber buy it. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily gonna suit me. It definitely doesn't go with these um, eyeshadow shades here. So yeah, let's see what this looks like. So this is the L'Oreal lipstick. Um, I don't know what's in it, but it's actually tingling my lips something chronic. So whether this has got um, some sort of ingredient in it, which actually makes your lips um, react a little bit to make them plumper, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's like a, it's either an allergy <laughs> or it's meant to do this, but it feels like, um, I've got a really strong minty balm or something on my lips because it is very tingly. So yeah, not sure about that, but this is the colour. I mean, I do I do like the colour. It's quite, even though it is an orange, it's slightly transparent. Um, so it's quite subtle. So I'm going to wash this off now and show you the last lipstick. Right, so the final one is this one. Again, this featured in my Halloween video, but I thought I would review it. This is um, the Shout Loud NYX lipstick, um, satin lipstick, and this is in the colour Emotion. So it matches the heart on the end there. So this is in a purple colour. Like I say, I got it for Halloween for like a gothic uh, makeup look so I had really pale makeup and then purple lips so I'm just going to show you this um, it actually smells lovely this one it smells like the bakery <laughs> um, it's got a sweet smell to it and then it's got like a heart embossed on the outside of the lipstick I don't know if you can um, can see that on the camera it's probably not picking it up and then a little heart at the front of the lipstick under there as well okay so again this doesn't go, really go this doesn't really go with what I'm wearing, um, but it lets you see the colour. This one is actually a lot more matte than the other one, but it's more comfortable to wear, I have to say. Um, I don't think it necessarily suits me, but it lets you see what the range is like. And then the final thing, which I haven't shown you, is this L'Oreal Le Blush Blusher. Um, I got this on the 3 for 2 with um, the lipstick and something else, so... Yeah, I, I was expecting this to come out more of a plum colour. I do prefer 
more of a darker damson colour uh, blusher rather than um, this kind of summery pink but we are coming up to summer the, the, the brush actually comes packed underneath so I quite like that that's quite a nice little feature and the, the um, compact opens to reveal the blusher underneath mine's got a little bit chipped in the post the bottom of the compact opens to reveal the brush done this all in the wrong order really this should have gone on before the highlighters but never mind I quite like that colour it's not too um, pinky it's quite subtle it blends well so yeah and a reasonable price as well so that's that okay so I think that is all from my boots haul for today um, I hope it's been useful I hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas of what you might like to get from boots um, if you have enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And keep an eye out for my other videos as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and stay safe everybody. Bye.